so here we are. I added some more details to it uh, with the techniques I showed by using our brush and then more of Deviant Standard. So uh, another technique which I'll show you which will help you to add more things to tertiary more detail into a tertiary form is uh, using alpha. Uh, now is the time when you use alpha to make your uh, make your object or your armor look much realistic because uh, alpha is almost created from the images uh, which exist. So uh, here are some alphas which I downloaded from Pixelogic, Pixelogic site. Uh, Pixelogic has a bunch of free alphas, so make sure uh, that you go on the site and download them and make uh, best use of it. So uh, these are some fractals uh, which will give you pores, uh, more of them. Uh, this gives you more uh, different types of details. Like uh, which you saw in oysters, finer details. Uh, these are all the details which you cannot uh, sculpt by hand one by one. It'll take you forever. So that's the reason why you use an alpha to do that. So I just take a standard brush, drag rectangle, and use alpha. And um, uh, that's a lot of intensity. And really put it subtle on top of my mesh. So it has to be really subtle. And also keep my uh, symmetry off when I'm in center so I can get more uh, breakdown in center and doesn't look symmetrical. Uh, I turn it on when I go on the sides and you can see how automatically it looks more realistic by just adding these simple alphas and you can press alt uh, so it pushes it in instead of pulling out so you can get a little bit more variation big and small forms. Uh, uh, sometimes I also use the spray uh, which is also helpful so it randomly it randomly will spray the uh, uh, alpha around your object. Uh, it's really subtle but it deforms the object a little bit so you can see how it works on the flat surfaces and then You just let it, uh, you just spray it all over the mesh so it looks like it's there are fine details out there. Like right now, you can see how how our highlights breaking down because of all that detail. I might, I might add some more detail here with my Ops Crack brush. So uh, once you start making tertiary forms you will see like finer details. Uh, there are times when it, if it is intentional, there are times when you accidentally see some forms which you really like so try to pop them out and it'll look really it'll look really nice on your mesh. Standard again, take a drag rectangle. I'll take these scales which I downloaded from ZBrush, uh, Pixelogic ZBrush side, and you can see how the scales are working. I might increase the intensity a bit, and like I showed you in the reference, uh, 
the details have to be in the uh, opposite direction of your secondary details so it'll help a lot to break uh, break down forms and uh, what you can also do is after pulling out some uh, alphas you can uh, you can go in with your deviant standard and define it more so it's not just that your uh, your uh, painting alpha on top of uh, the mesh you're also trying to sculpt to it so it looks more 3D so this is what I do uh, mostly for my tertiary details is drag the alphas and then you see forms and try to break those forms which you are getting with your demon standard brush make them pop out more uh, sometimes you also might deform your mesh a lot of the fix to that as you can go into alpha and there's the surface detail option which you can click on and it'll, it won't deform your surface that much as much as you used to so yeah just uh, keep pulling alphas um, demon standard get some forms um, there are more random alphas which I use uh, try not to just use one alpha because it will just look monotonous so use more alphas not too many but just two or three variations so it will give you more breakdown much better for your, your object What I also do is sometimes smoothen out some part of it so it doesn't look like the same everywhere. So just smooth a little bit. Pull out more. It's also good to have uh, more detail on the joints, like the surf two surfaces, where two surfaces meet because uh, that's the place where you'll get more uh, more light that's a place which will catch more light so uh, when it catches light you can actually see all those details popping out and it'll look really nice just trying to add a bit more form because sometimes when you're pulling offers dragging offers on the mesh it, might lose some of the detail which you already have so it's just good to go back and refine it more some finer details uh, it won't be seen but it still it still makes a difference a lot of difference when you are uh, when you're lighting your object like okay it's uh, you don't need to zoom in too much and work on like really small details but just make sure that the details which you pull out uh, they actually help your model to look better. So uh, that's it.
that's it for the tertiary forms and uh, I'll be doing this to all my other uh, all my other meshes which I have and it's the same technique uh, Demon Standard, uh, Arps Cracks, smaller uh, finer details and then once you get the flow right just uh, use your alphas and uh, while dragging out your alphas try to uh, try to pop them out a little bit so it actually feels like the texture is on the mesh uh, try to make this more subtle because uh, if I turn it like that it's a bit weird but uh, just make it smoother So uh, that's probably it for tertiary details.